Okay, Chris D from PC Addicts. Another real short, but I feel is a pretty useful tip. Um, again, you can find this out just on Google everywhere, but uh, why not? I'm Sunday morning, I'm drinking some coffee, sun's rising, it's going to be a nice day, I'm in a good mood. Let's make a quick video. Uh, I want to show you real quick, let's say in the terminal, let's say you're in the terminal you want, and you want to view what the contents are of the xorg config file and the only reason I'm using that is because I work with it I've been working with it quite often a um, couple ways uh, let me zoom in okay let's say you're in here and right now my working directory print working directory is uh, slash Etsy slash x11 and in here I have the xorg config file um, that I want to view let's clear the screen okay so let's say there's a, there's a utility called or a script, or however you want to call it, called or an application called cat, C-A-T. Basically what this does is it prints uh, the contents of the file to the standard output. Basically what it does is it lets you view what's inside that file here in the terminal. So cat XO and then I'm going to use tab completion, hit enter, and then here you go. Here's the you know the very bottom of it and we can scroll up and look at the whole thing well, let's say you want to view it page by page now in windows it was what was it slash p or something i forgot it's been a while but um here what i'm going to do is hit up arrow and at the end of this i'm going to space pipe through uh, and use more at the end and what it's going to do is it's going to show you um this screen size here and then at the bottom you have a more highlighted thing here you just hit the space bar and it's going to go down page by page hit space bar again space bar again space bar again there you go you're at the end now let's say you want to open that up in something like a text editor like gedit what i'm going to do is just type gedit uh, xorg config hit enter and then here it goes it's opened up in my gedit now, because this file is, I'm not the owner of this file, root is, which let me close it and I'll show you. Let's go ls, al, pipe it, and grab xorg.config. I'm going to show you. Here's the file right here, the very top one. And it shows root is. So I can't actually edit this file, ng-edit, unless I run the sudo command. So sudo gedit xor config and then put put in your password if I can remember it and it's gonna open it up and now it's opened up under uh, root so I can edit it save it and it will save uh, let's close this again and there you go so you can use cat to just view it and there's other there's other ones too you can run but uh, I use cat just to get a real quick view of what's in a file through the terminal so uh, hope that helps someone out